Step aside, Mr. High. He's about to show you how to get it done. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Poor rich. rich. They been said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you been doing, man? What's happening? What's up, man? Uh, get up to the right. You've done this before, man. All right, all right. What's happening, baby? Hey, how you been doing, man? I'm good, man. Bless, you know. Happy to be here, man. Thank you for having me, man. You already know. Holiday was good? Yeah, everything was cool. You know, just pretty much with the family, man. I don't do too much, man. You know, I'm right now on just like, like business, man. Heavy, like zero tolerance level. Like, you know, about the business for real, for real. That's what's up. So tell my audience, well, they already know who you are, but some might not know. Tell them who Puerto Rico is. Yeah, man, but Porter Rich, um, Porter Rich is basically, man, just young Latino, you know, from out of uh, New Jersey, born and raised, came to shit in New Jersey, you know, born and raised, just been, like, you know, behind, like, really, I'm, I'm gonna say behind the scenes with the music thing for a long time, just because, like, I put a lot of things into the music for a long time, you know what I'm saying, but... The music has definitely like been a part of my life for a long time and I've been banging out with the music for a long time and I mean from like an artist point of view, like you know, that, like the first time I did a show, a lot of people you know, probably you know I mentioned a lot of people didn't even like believe it, but yeah, yeah like that really? long history. Really? Yeah. But how long have you been in the game? I mean, in the game, as far as in the game, I ain't gonna say in the game, but like I said, like I did this on a personal note for a long time. Okay. Like just, you know, as a, as for like a hobby, like right. freestyling and writing rhymes. We just did it on a personal note, just had love for way before, like it became like a big old multi-million dollar, billion dollar industry. Right. You know what I'm saying? We've been like lining on the corner and doing all that. So that's why I ain't even gonna say like in the game, but just long time, man. Early 90s, man. Oh, long okay. time. You know what I'm saying? When was that moment? that you're like, okay, I want to do this. Instead of like going from a hobby to a career, when, when, when did you get that moment? Well, honestly, I'm gonna say like, um, in like 2001, one of, one, of, one of my homies that I grew up with came up with in the streets, man, my homie Taffy, shout out to Taffy, you know what I'm saying? Um, they had opened up a studio, you know what I mean? And they had a little independent record label, Teflon Records coming out of there where we was working with the boy Shaquille. And this was in the city of Camden, yeah, right? Yeah, this was okay. in the city of Camden where we had the boy Shaquille. And you know, he's probably like one of the like OGs, like in the music thing, like in my city. Him, they had the old newborns thing back in the day, like they really like pioneers for the city. Shout out to Shaquille, you know what I'm saying? Salute to him on that note. But yeah, like we, we was on the same record label at one point in time where he was getting back <coughs> as a solo artist and he was doing our thing. So that was really at the time where like, you know, we kind of like, was like, all right, let's see what's happening if we take this serious, even though we still BS for like a while at right. that time. What part of Camden are you from? I'm from Pollock Town. I'm, okay. uh, I'm originally from uh, like downtown area, but I moved like to Pollock when I was like nine, ten. So I've been out Pollock over 20 years now. So we're, we're definitely like, you know, a whole Pollock stand up. That's what's up. Now, um, speaking about the artists in Camden, because like you're one of the main ones, you know, it's, it's, it's Fickle, Money Carson, uh, who am I missing? I mean, there, there's a lot of cats out there. Yeah, I mean, now, like, especially now, shout, <coughs> shout out to who you mentioned, though. Shout out to Fick, shout out to Money Carson. They definitely, like, working artists, you know, in the, in the area. Um, But as far as, like, the whole, like, it's a lot of people working right now, Phil. Right. I ain't gonna hold you. Like, you know, I guess, like, being as though the movement is kind of like, you know, picking up, you know what I'm saying, with people doing their numbers, it's a lot of cats working. So shout out to all the cats working because you can't never get all the names. You right, can't right. never like mention everybody. But for real, for real, people that stand out, you got Apollo the Great. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got Apollo. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Apollo on the East Side. He won like Best New Jersey Artist for the Philadelphia Hip Hop Awards sure, this year for the New Jersey Artist uh, slot. You know what I'm saying? And you know me, I ain't no hater. Like, I'm a congratulator. Right. And like, people's, uh, like, honestly, when I see other dudes working hard, it motivate me. So, shout out to Apollo, Breezy, the whole Thorough Boy, uh, the whole Thorough Boy squad. Shout out to them. They definitely doing their numbers out there. And you, you got a lot, man. You got CV, mm -hmm. you got, you know what I mean? You got High Million, you got Big Dude still doing his numbers. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, you got young cats that's on the come up. You got Point Blank Range. Mm. Point? Like, yeah. Point what, what, point what's going on? Man? Have you seen him lately? I actually, honestly, like I actually never really like met Point Blank in person. I know people, oh, like, we really? got like mutual peoples, like Fick, right, right. Fick bang with him hard, man, Fick cool. You know, he actually, uh, he actually bang with my man JT, and me and JT actually go back, way back to like, I'm talking like, 
like like late nineties, mid nineties, when a mm. lot of people that's doing it now wasn't doing it. Right. And right. we go back to them days. So, you know, it's just a lot of history behind it, you know right. what I'm saying? In the city. Now we um in the studio we have my man Porter Rick from Camden, New Jersey. Now I wanna ask you, how were you able to adjust from back then to now? Was it a hard adjustment? Because you know, like like the, like like hip hop has actually changed. I mean, how, like, was it kind of hard for you, or like, w was that accepted? Because like when I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. When I hear you, when I um, the keep it real freestyle that you did, you know, right. I've heard. I mean, and this is a compliment, but I was like, man, this dude sounds just like AZ on this. Like, you was just like, right, right, you right. went right in. So like, and I and I can tell that you have that. You can flow. So as an MC, because usually we, we got like three or four songs and we're going to show the different styles of them. Right. How are you able to adjust? Right. I appreciate that, Phil. Um, I mean, you know, like I, was, like I said, man, like it's just it's just like history with me behind this music thing, man. And like a lot of people don't know until they get my whole story. But like beats, tracks, I can ride on any track, man. I can ride any track out. Like any track that you submit to me, like, you know what I'm saying? Long as it's, I feel as though it's gonna be beneficial at the end of the day. At the end of the day, like producers gotta come, you know, with somewhat of their A game, just as an artist should right. come with their A game. You know what I'm saying? So as long as the track is at least meet me halfway, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Then I can go ahead and take it to that next level. That's how I feel about any record, like any type, any type of level, man. If you listen to like the new project we just dropped, mm -hmm. promo, push a little official music, only hosted by my brother Mr. Hype. Okay. You know what I mean? 69 right here with me. Like it displays versatility, variety, you know what I'm saying? And just different, like different hip hop, man, different styles of hip hop, man. Cause I've I've lived it all. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I'm a versatile type person. Like I got I can paint some like harsh realities of the streets and give you that raunchy street hip hop. I can also tell you about, you know, paint a soulful track, get a soulful track, and just, you know, probably paint a picture about the real trials and tribulations that people go through in everyday life. I can take you to the club, to the right, party, right. you know what I mean? To the party joints. <coughs> and that's the one thing I do like about you because you're versatile. I mean, you can, you don't stay in one lane. Right. I mean, you can, you can do, or what they say, quote unquote, like the underground stuff, or you can do like the mainstream stuff, you can do the club stuff, and also we have, we have a, uh, you can do something for the ladies. Yeah, for sure. I shout out, like yeah, yeah, shout out like to the ladies, man. The ladies, the ladies, I ain't gonna hold you, man. Not even, you know, not even like to be on my high horse or something, but the ladies, they, the ladies bang with me heavy, man. Yeah. So shout out to all the gorgeous ladies out there. You know, the divas, the, the thick Jones, the slim Jones, <laughs> light skin, brown skin. You know, I just shot the video to them girls up in the Poconos. Oh, yeah? You know, yeah, shout out to uh, Don Beats, produce the joints. Shout out to Don Beats out in violence. Shout out to Shannon Muir over Philly. Killing with the with the visuals right now. She came all the way from LA to shoot the joint. Really? That just go to show how serious we on our BI. You know what I'm saying? So Girl. shout out to them, man. We just got it in, shot two videos and they coming up next. It's working, man. That's what's hey look, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna get into like a couple of your tracks. Okay. And then we're gonna come back. We're gonna talk a little bit about uh like the, the conversation that we uh left off at, you know, what what's going on there in Camden. Like give me like a little update on that just to see was there, is there any improvement? Um, okay. And then we want to talk about your projects because you're on like a lot of projects. Yeah, that's it. I, I want you to name every last project that you're on and <laughs> your uh, any shows that you have coming up, anything that is going to help you move forward. So that's what we're going to do. But this music is going to is going to make you move forward because I've heard all these stuff. Shout out to Mr. Hype. He sent like three tracks. Shout out to Hype. That's my Man, bro. I'm going to tell you what song I actually did like, but um, I don't know if I'm going to have time to um to put it on. Uh, you did the joint uh, over the Ten Crack Commandments joint. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We took the old Biggie Ten. Yeah, the Ten man. Crack Commandments, and I actually did the Ten Strap Commandments, yeah. which was crazy for the streets. Like, you know, real street niggas won't respect that because oh, it's oh, just old, old, old. The streets hey, hold on, let me. Yeah. Right, the, streets, I'll it. the streets is definitely gonna respect that because it's just certain like you know you know when you when you in them streets and you run in them streets like honestly you know what I mean because it, it's a harsh reality of their life that people is you know this people this people lies and when you're doing that you know it's just certain things you do and you don't do the one thing I did like about that song you weren't trying to glorify the uh that but you were just telling like the reality right and it's a harsh reality right and I mean one of the main rules I mentioned at the end was just saying like you know, don't pull it if you ain't ready to squeeze it. Right. Because if you ain't ready for the consequences that come with after squeezing it, 
You know what I mean? What you might be having to, you know, lay up for 20 or 15 or 10 in that, in that box, in that cell, you know, then be be mindful of that right. when you pull it. You know what I'm saying? And that's, you know, that just go to show, like, it was a jewel I was just trying to drop. That's you know what I mean? With the whole, with the whole 10 strap commandments, man. Like, if that ain't your thing, and, you know, if it is going to be a thing, like, then do it how it's supposed to be done. That's what's up. Hey, look, we're going to get into a couple joints by you, and we're going to have to get into my man's joint. Uh, from up north, Govmatic. I gotta play this joint. I really gotta play this joint with like bananas. Let's do it. But we got my man Puerto Rich in the house. We got my man, my man Mr. Hype in the house. He got the cameras going. Oh, you got Gage, a, IT, damn, you, fam. You, you, they all in here. My boy Gage. He got the G Spot Studio. Yeah, he got a real professional IT, camera. Fam. Nice, dude. Damn. I see y'all. <laughs> hey, look, we're gonna get to some music. To go hype. And we're gonna come back with my man Puerto Rich. And we, I don't know. At the end, we might try to make him spit something like that. I'm gonna try to pull up an instrumental or something like that. Side B Radio, WPRB, 103.3 FM, 609 Trenton's in the building, Camden's in the building, South Jersey's in the building, just Jersey's in the building. Side B Radio, WPRB, 103.3 FM.